We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Andrew and I'm here with Rob H. Robert. Robert says, whenever we talk about insulin speakers, we always mention backer boxes, since that's always our recommendations. Yes, Why not just use sealed or front-ported bookshelf or satellite speakers recessed into the ceiling? Is that the end of the question, or is there more? Is there, there's more to this, right? I keep reading, because it yeah. seems like that's the end of the question. Yes. All right, anyways. Over <laughs> Christmas, Robert no, got a pair of SVS Prime satellite speakers. He cut an opening in, the, in his ceiling drywall and used L brackets to secure the satellites to a ceiling joist with about a half inch of the front of the speaker protruding from the ceiling. He had in-ceiling speakers before that cost more than the Prime satellites, but he thinks the Prime sound better. Is there anything dangerous or inadvisable about doing this? And since it sounds good, costs less, and avoids the separate backer box issue, is it something we'll start to recommend more frequently? I guess the only thing that concerns me about this is uh, the, the the bare the, the connection between the speaker and the wire. You know, if you have plenum in you know rated speaker wire that's in wall, it's rated for in wall and all that stuff. You're still mm -hmm. having to connect them to your speaker inside your wall because you've recessed it into your wall. Uh, I kind of feel like you, you need have to do that with an in ceiling speaker too, though. <laughs> yeah, but so. inside, I guess you're right. Yeah. And really? some of them, like the um, Do they usually have covers the on the mono price backer boxes. Yeah. Well, not always, because like the mono price backer boxes, you still connect the speaker wire to the outside of the, the backer box, box yeah. and then the backer box has a lead that goes to the actual physical speaker. So, uh, either way, yeah. No, I mean, I, I kind so. of agree, Robert. That it's yeah. just most people kind of want circular speakers in their ceiling. That's really the only. Most reason. people don't want to cut holes in their ceilings and have. Oh, speakers protruding out of them. I guess what it really comes yeah. down to is that. I mean, if you can, I would like to see a picture of this. To be honest with you, because uh, if you can, mm. the problem with dry well, cutting the drywall is not the cutting into the drywall. It is the making the drywall no. look okay after you've done this thing to it, and that's where you. Yeah, run into coming the up in a couple of questions, uh, we have Tom K who actually did this with Ascend speakers instead of SVS, but it's the very same idea. Yeah. Sealed speakers recessed into a ceiling. He put a nice uh, frame around them yeah so that you know they look decorative up on a ceiling but yeah uh really yeah honestly robert the only reason is because a lot of people want circular speakers that's what they're expecting when they put in ceiling speakers is circular if you're okay with a square instead there's absolutely no reason i mean it is a speaker with a backer box that's what a speaker yeah, what is. is as long as it's sealed so that, that and even if it's not sealed yeah, i mean i totally guess because be the the port would be if the if port was rear firing the added base from the port which yeah. is supposed to be coming into the room so if you have it firing into the attic it kind of defeats the purpose yeah. there but but front ported um, front i don't think anything i mean i don't think anything dangerous or in a, you know there's nothing i mean the only nah. inadvisable part is the fixing it or the you know making it look nice and if you can do that or if you're okay with how it looks then it's fine it's fine yeah good yeah no i'm not gonna recommend it anymore <laughs> to be honest with you because i don't think many people will do it <laughs> i think most people i don't care i don't agree necessarily with rob that they want to have round speakers i mean i think a lot of people expect to see round speakers but what it comes down right. to is people want to buy a speaker that's that says on the box you know in ceiling mm. speaker in ceiling <laughs> and then it has a cutout thing that tells you how to do it and it has special little you mm. know dog ear tabs on it to to connected to your drywall and they know what they're getting and what they're putting up there is meant to be up there and is easy to put up there what you've done is something a little bit more difficult honestly on many levels uh, but it is in no way unsafe nor do i uh think that and honestly i agree i think that the prime speakers would probably sound a lot better because they're you know frankly not built to be in ceiling speakers which in ceiling speakers are like hey that's nah, it's gonna be surround it's gonna be it's gonna be whole <laughs> nobody cares what they sound like <laughs> no one cares so uh i agree i think they probably do sound quite a bit better um i still don't think people are going to do it they got, i keep saying people aren't going to do atmos speakers and here we are so. <laughs> that being said i have never walked into a home that had atmos speakers in it nor have i ever spoken to anybody even after i tell them what this podcast is about who asked me about atmos afterwards it's never happened <laughs> never but maybe something
Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.